can't believe that. I can't believe that. Football, bloody hell. Welcome back to Football, bloody hell. And this segment, FPL, bloody hell. Uh, season still going a little poorly. Did not wildcard last week. Not ideal to wildcard this week. The squad's not really bad. Missing on Alvarez, Watkins, Diaby. Trippier still. Lots to think about. Uh, in this episode, we'll talk about Game Week 9 transfer tips, obviously. A wildcard draft for the ones who want to, but like I said, not ideal. It's a very small section over there. Captains here, big shout out this week, obviously, between Son, Salah, and Haaland. And injury updates regarding Mitoma, Saka, Saliba, and Botman. So let's quickly get into this episode. And before I do, actually, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you like it. Leave a like on this video. And if you already haven't, join the MUSCM Mini League. The code's right there. So, Game Week 9 team. Turner in goal. Big doubt about that game, right? As of uh, Friday evening. Uh, this episode will go up right before deadline. So, hopefully, by then we have some update. If not, keep an eye on it. Turner in goal. Udogi, Cash, Burn, Botman. Doubt as well. Salah captaincy band on him right now, but um, that was more just uh, wishful thinking yet. Nothing concrete. Bowen, Embu, Emo, Son, Saka, Haaland. Now, obviously, I told you guys that I have team ka structure thoda off lag raha hai since game week 5. Uh, mistake I have I got in Salah too early. Salah has gotten the points, yes, but. Wo balance ke Salah ko lane ke liye I have missed out on some other enablers, right? Who outscored Salah. So, which is where you see my predicament is thoda off. Uh, and on my own, made a few decisions like not starting Johnson two weeks in a row. Uh, pe I think I've lost at least uh, nine points more. If you do these nine points, 15 points, 10 points, they all kind of tend to add up. Hai? So 35 points could have been seen me around like 500k, probably even 200-300k. So, it's okay. Uh, there is still time in the season. But yeah, comparing... Just now the squad to an ideal squad, I told that do not have an Aston Villa attacking asset. Uh, no Alvarez, obviously, he's the other player who's been sticking out for City. Especially with Haaland's lean form of sword in front of goal, if you can call it that. Um, Botman and Saka. Abhi, now let's just quickly talk about the injuries to these players, right? Now, press conference mein Mitoma ke liye, Dezabi didn't say anything in particular. So you're assuming he's fit, right? So I'm assuming Metoma will start. Now, Saliba. Saliba ko toe injury hai. And he said that he's been struggling with it even while he was playing through the pain before that, right? Has it gotten worse in the international break or did they, were they not really aware? So they was cautious over there. Can't know for sure. But Agarja, you're thinking to get in an Arsenal defense now in this game week onwards. I'd say maybe look at Gabriel at 4.7. How how pay risk hai. Agar jo Partey wapas aa gaya hai. And with Partey back in this squad, you could see Gabriel dropped again. Hopefully not. But yeah, I would still care of bringing Saliba in. If you have him, I think you hold on to him for sure. Uh, Botman is training. Maybe might not be risk. Because he's championing around the corner. But again, for one week, I would not take out Botman. Unless you have Botman, Saliba and Saka and too many flags and no bench. Then there is a... Case in point, especially wildcard in hand in wildcard 10, uh, wildcard in game week 10, you do, you can take out Saka essentially and you can take a punt and get in maybe Bruno against Sheffield if you don't have him, uh, get in Bowen if you don't have him. So uh, yeah, those are options for you in case these are going on. But I wouldn't worry too much about um, Mitoma at least. Botman, yes, just keep start him in your team, like I have maybe. Um, and I'll tell you more about my team. Okay, this is where my worry is now. Looking at these players and their injury updates. Um, so yeah, Botman may not start. Saka should start. It's a little dicey that he's said that he's trying to train and he's trying to be fit, but you never know if he'll be risked. And um, yeah, Mitoma should start. And we don't, Saliba again is the missing one there. So that's two positive, two negative kind of comments. Actually, two positive, one negative, and one we don't really know about, right? Uh, so to my team, PR, how do I go about this? With Archer and Kyao Pedro and Kabore as my subs. Let's say Botman doesn't indeed start. Um, let's say I put Jao Pedro first on my bench. Not an ideal player, obviously, who's not been starting. Gets the odd assist and gets a goal in Europe, but does not start in the Premier League, okay? 
what do you do um start archer against united not obviously let's say saka and na botman dono nahi khelte i mean deep trouble over there right which is why i feel for me wild carding is not ideal unless i come to know two hours before the deadline ek one hour before the deadline ki yaar rashford ko kuch ho gaya that sheffield game might be in doubt for any reason not saying that's the case as of now even the nottingham game is on mostly but these are just thinking out loud right which is why i feel for me that saka out and getting him back in on the wild card is more obvious if because okay i can have a jao pedro or someone coming in for a bot mid i can't have both archer and jao pedro coming in now if they both were to come on and i didn't keep them in my team and score then you know, that's just luck but fixtures are not ideal and obviously playing time for jao pedro not ideal right so let's look at the transfers i could potentially make to overcome these issues so like i said here these are a lot of things for me to consider immediately the first thought is do i double up now united have been so terrible and hanging on to rashford that whole time is what got me in trouble right now obviously rashford to son did not do much either last week uh, and i don't have a united asset going into this week right so you wonder ki should i have just kept him with son not doing too well possibly going off of 75th minute if spurs are doing well he's not scored also but i think to get rashford back in not the best situation so i think i'll probably consider uh, even though i can afford him i'll probably consider maybe a fernandes punt against sheffield although it's an away game at 8.4 that is one option ki yaar i can go for bruno fernandes i will most likely be wild card in game week 10 i think actually i have to wild card in game week 10 because i have too many players still missing from this squad right unless something changes aston villa look very shit suddenly um theek hai to Bruno Fernandes is an obvious option one pick. Option two, I don't have Madison. It's going to be the last week you want to triple up maybe on your assets, your Tottenham assets. So Madison, Son, Udogi. Um, little insurance for maybe Son going off early. Madison can still play on a little longer and do something that could work too. Now, <coughs> neither of these options I feel maybe Bruno could get me more points. If he gets points, I could jump rank. But with Madison, I don't think I can jump rank that much. He's almost forty percent on. So I'm like, do I take that one week punt and look at players who could possibly get me better, uh, or better rank boost, bigger rank boost? Who could those players be? Are uh, Diaby against West Ham? I mean, maybe. Obviously, price is not a problem, but I don't know if West Ham will be that easy to score against. They could concede, and then long term, if I wild card, I could obviously keep Diaby back into my squad. Who am I? Who am I to meet him at that point? Okay, Luton, Nottingham, Fulham, Spurs could also be a fun testing game for them. Till game week fourteen, right? Good option over there. Who else can kind of slot in here, right? Um, to punt off. Now let's say I'm like, I'll play Saka, which ideally I I don't think it makes so much sense. Let's say I keep Saka. I don't like Jao Pedro instead, right? I'll go. I'll leave Botman on the bench. Um, start off with somebody else. At five point nine again as a striker, not too many options for me. It's uh, unfortunate. Uh, unfortunately, very um, price myself out by keeping Pedro for too long and not getting some players in early. Okay, so I feel my hands are kind of tied over here. These are the only kind of players I can look at. So like, safe transfer considerably, but. Maybe Bruno with a higher upside over there. Essentially, I can also, like I said, look at a DRB. I already have a Bowen, right? So I'm covered on that West Ham front differential. Anybody else are missing in? Okay, if you are considering for yourself, ठीक है Holland भी है. Holland seven point two. I have no way for Holland, right? Um, you can consider Holland in, but I'm guessing you will already have Watkins in your team. You will already have Alvarez in your team. Do you want to take out Watkins this week? No. Alvarez against Brighton. I mean, KDB के बारे में Pep said that he is still not sure when he is back. So you would assume Alvarez is secure. Yes, there is a chance he'll suddenly start Grealish again and Foden also, and maybe doesn't play Alvarez. But odds are low. If you feel that could happen, yeah, maybe Holland is a one week shout before you wild card next week, right? You can then pivot and then move to Watkins from there. But apart from these, I am not seeing too many shout outs, obviously. If you have two free transfers, right? Now let's move on to your plans. If you have two free transfers already, and your team looks very good, you have Madison, Trippier, you have double Newcastle with them. You have Dan Burn or Sher. You have um, Madison, Son, Bruno Fernandez. Okay. You don't want to burn a transfer. Defensively, it's not bad to look at Simicas. I think out of 
maybe let's say in the next six games if robertson misses simikas could start three he does say that he can't start all games club said that he will not start all games so i would say three out of six at 4.4 worth the shout out okay if you're not burning a transfer you don't want to burn that transfer for no reason uh but apart from that yeah, these are the only moves that i can think about right now who are worth going for differentially apart from these you also have the likes of netto at 5.8 now i think let me check if you are a set team and you want to go i think yes netto is at 5.8 uh wolves are playing bodmeth away not a very bad game could do well you also have wang who's i think cheaper Let me pull that up. But again, yeah, these are like I said, mainly one week punts. But Neto is on my wildcard draft, which I put up last week. Uh, but yeah, at 5.4 point four cheaper, right? So that's one to consider. Bournemouth, Newcastle, Sheffield, Spurs, Fulham, Arsenal, Burnley. I mean, not a long term hold, but yeah, someone who could enable other moves in your squad. So these are my thoughts out loud right now. And not the uh, not the most interesting, but that is what it is. Moving on to a wildcard draft now, right? And like I said, not ideal unless I have some random last minute injury doubts where my team looks even worse. I don't think I will also be going for a wildcard this week and I'm not. And it's burnt me, but it is what it is. So obviously an ideal wildcard, I would look at getting Trippier in. Now, these are not essential players, right? There are a very good chance that from Salah, Trippier, Haaland, Son, you can't afford one of them. And in my case, I have no Son here, right? As you can see, I have 0 0.4 in my back. Cannot afford Son here. And I've gone in for Bowen here because I feel he's explosive. But see, there are ways to make it all happen. But the sacrifices you'll have to make, I'll show you. It's just Aston Villa, Everton, Brentford, Nottingham, Burnley, Palace, Spurs. Till United in 18. I mean, it's a very long run. Hopefully, we stay fit to get him in right now. Current ownership of Bowen is at just about 19%. So decent ownership, right? This is where I've ended up. Just three starting defenders. Taylor, we don't know with Burnley players coming back if he will start. He's just enabling my squad. Kabor is being rotated randomly. Here, I've kept Johnston only because he just seems to be doing very good for Chris Pires right now. But I feel Ariola still is a safer bet. But will I be saving that much money right now? 4.2. <coughs> Apologies for that. I still have a bit of a sore throat. 0.7 left in the bank. As you can see, I still have Jao Pedro here. Now, that's ideally a player I do not want. Let's say I want Alvarez, Watkins, anybody. Now, Watkins is 8.2. How do I go about making this squad and keeping Trippier and Salah and Bruno Fernandes? I feel I don't think I can keep Bruno Fernandes in this squad and Bowen and make this team up, right? People got cash in at 4.5. Now, me not having cash at that point has cost me 0.5 just there. So, a lot of imbalance in this squad currently for me to even consider, which is why I'm even... Saying that if I don't do it in 10, I think I can afford half the players and I'll be really far behind. And right now, it's just too soon now this game week, right? The players that I have don't have bad fixtures. So essentially, um, I'm left with holding up to a team like this. Now, obviously, I want to get Mitoma back because he's dropped to 6.5. And after City, the fixture list is very tempting. Right till Arsenal in 17. Even after that, it's a decent mixed bag of fixtures. So let's say I get Metoma in here instead of Madison. No room for Saka still, right? Let's say I do Bruno instead and keep Saka in because I feel United Assets are still not doing well next week if they're not done well against Sheffield. 0.7 shot. Still 0.7 shot. <coughs> and I have Diaby 6.7, Metoma 6.5, Bowen 7.2. So if you're like me, you could possibly face a similar situation with your players. Now, yes, there is an option where I don't go in for Matty Cash. But I feel even the power Torres move at 4.5, Aston Villa, I'm still down by 0.2. So the only fix I saw over there, or like the only easy way I saw over there was maybe not getting in Saka and keeping Madison here. This is not my ideal, uh, ideal draft because like I said, even for this week, you still have to keep Metoma in your squad, right? You do have DRB and Watkins will start. So you have Madison, DRB, Salah, Watkins... Haaland, Mitoma. But the problem with wild carding this week is we keep saying not ideal is because you'll be stuck with a defense like this. When you have Taylor, right? Not an ideal fixture, could not start. Trippier will start. Uh, one of the Villa defenders. Maybe three out of which two are good point holds. One is a makeshift. 
is it really worth it doing that this week i don't think so something like this in the wild card in game week 10 better choices but in this game week i would avoid um if i really really could right um now let's move on to captaincy and before we close the episode like i said it's son it's halan it's salah for me son just with the fact that yes he's playing fulham he could get in those points he could have had points last week against luton spurs this for very I think they were taking it too easy and then with the red card things just got worse, right? But for me, I think Son is out only because I feel that if he's still struggling with injury and he wants to play through the pain and they get those two goals, maybe he'll be hooked off again, right? Too risky. I feel Haaland still likely to play 85 minutes. Tala should play <clears throat> the full 90 minutes, right? He's being rotated in Europe a lot, not starting, so I feel he'll keep him on. So I think for me, it comes down to it's Son. I'm not thinking Son is a bad option. He could get in three quick goals or a hat-trick in... That 60 minutes he's there and get taken off for that either, right? But I feel now the question for me goes between Salah and Haaland. Haaland against Brighton, conceding chances all over the place. Tk. Haaland itch where he's missed few open sitters in the last three or four games in the Champions League and Premier League. So to go against him again is a big call. Salah expected to score, looked average last game, still got in those got those points. Last early fixture against Wolves, got in those assists, could have been more. I feel for me, the cause, captain sees the coin toss between Salah and Haaland. For now, I'm going with Salah, trying to be brave and backing the early fixture. But I wouldn't be surprised if I panic at like 10 minutes to deadline and change it to Haaland. So for me, the order is Salah, Haaland, very small difference in between both of them. And I think, um, yeah, Son number three there. But look, like I said, all three decent shots for this week. So go with your gut. Anyway, thank you so much for tuning into this episode. I'm sorry I missed the preview this week. I, like I said, I wasn't keeping too well. But hopefully you'll be able to go back to the regular schedule next week. Subscribe button right there. Please hit on it. Leave a like on this video. And if you want any other help in the comments, leave your team over there. Or on the MUFCM social media handles on Instagram and on Twitter. Happy to help you out. Best of luck for this game week. Cheers.